हेलो मैड स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पी वेंकटेश्वर लू पीजीटी फिजिक्स यस्टर्डे इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट चैप्टर नंबर टेन मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूइड्स इन दैट वेरिएशन ऑफ प्रेशर विथ डेप्थ वेरिएशन ऑफ प्रेशर विथ डेप्थ P2 टू मैनस पी वन इज इक्वल टू रोज इ हेच यू कैन बे हाइट ओके नाउ वी नीड टू डिस्कस अबउट हईड्रोस्टाटिक पाराडाक्स वाट मैट हईड्रोस्टाटिक पाराडाक्स हईड्रोस्टाटिक पाराडाक्स हईड्रोस्टाटिक पाराडाक्स So coming to the statement of this hydrostatic paradox. So we know that in previous case we have to derive that uh, pressure is independent of area of cross section and volume of the material. Only pressure. The hydrostatic paradox states that fact that in different shaped containers with the same base area, which are filled with a liquid of the same height. the applied force by the liquid on the bases of each container is exactly same pressure is depends upon depth of the liquid or height of the liquid column okay see here from the same here we can discuss hydrostatic paradox pressure is independent of shape and volume of the container okay only it is depending upon the depth when object is immersed okay so consider a consider a container consider a container like this and another one like this consider three type three types of different materials okay so this is a like cylinder In that we have to take fluid. That might tell us fluid, but here each one having different shape. Okay, different shape and different area of cross section. Okay, understand? It is denoted A, it is denoted B, it is denoted C. These are giant with a pipe. Okay, see here this fluid. Which are acting same height. Okay. See here in this case, we can observe different area of cross section. Here is less. Here is high. Or the area is more. Here some water is there. Okay. So in this case, the pressure acting is same. If the area of cross section each one different, but the pressure is same. So from this. Pressure is independent of uh, pressure is independent of area and volume of the material. Only depends upon depends upon depth depth or or height height of the height of the liquid liquid column. Height of the liquid column, my dear children. Understand? See here, hydrostatic hydrostatic paradox means whenever fluid at rest with different shaped materials or vessels, in that we have to take fluid with the same height, but here area and volume are different. So in this case, pressure is same. The pressure is same. The pressure of a static fluid is same, which, which same height. The points which are in same height, which is independent of area of cross section and volume of the material. So volume of the vessel, my dear children. Okay, understand, my dear children. So coming to atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure, my dear. What, my dear children? Atmospheric pressure. So we know that our air is surrounded by some gases. Okay, what matters is that so our air, our yeah, our air, you know, all put by some gases which are outer surface of the air. So what is the uh, subcontent? At 
मास करें प्रेसर is called atmospheric pressure okay so here uh, this is air okay so this is atmosphere okay so this is fluid okay so due to this uh, fluid which acting some pressure on the air okay pressure exerted by the atmosphere okay what is atmosphere what is atmosphere so the air having some gases and different fluids which are exerted pressure on the earth surface is called atmospheric pressure so atmospheric pressure pa is equal to pa is equal to 1.013 into 10 power 5 pascals it is constant okay so what is the atmospheric pressure which is acting on the earth surface PA is equal to 1.013 into 10 power 5 pascals. For calculation, we can write only 10 power 5 pascals. Okay, understand? For calculation, we can take the pressure of uh, Earth atmosphere. PA is equal to 10 power 5 pascals. We can understand, my dear sir. So, what is atmospheric pressure? Yes, the pressure exerted by atmospheric on the earth is called atmospheric pressure next gas pressure okay so what my children gas pressure gas pressure gas pressure p suffix c p suffix c gas pressure okay gas pressure which, which is defined as the excess pressure above the atmospheric pressure what my children the excess pressure above the atmospheric pressure is called gas pressure understand so the amount of pressure which is acting on the earth surface more than the atmospheric pressure or the excess pressure of the atmospheric pressure is called gas pressure okay it is denoted pg okay then pg is equal to pg is equal to rho g h rho g h okay pressure of the liquid form which gives rho g h okay understand rho g h next next uh, we can get absolute pressure absolute pressure it is denoted p is absolute pressure absolute pressure it is defined as uh, the total pressure the, the total pressure of the total pressure of atmospheric and gas pressure okay the sum of the the sum of the atmospheric pressure and gas pressure is called absolute pressure okay pa plus rho gh pa plus rho gh understand so then that p minus pa is equal to rho g h okay understand p minus pa is equal to rho g h means absolute pressure minus atmospheric pressure is equal to gas pressure okay so what my children absolute absolute pressure minus atmospheric pressure atmospheric present is equal to is equal to gas present gas present understand my children so what is atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure so some gases around the earth okay some gases around the earth who can say earth atmosphere 
okay the pressure exerted by the atmospheric is called atmospheric pressure okay so and the excess pressure above the atmospheric pressure is called gas pressure and what is absolute pressure the sum of the atmospheric and gas pressure is called absolute pressure okay here absolute pressure minus atmospheric pressure is equal to gas pressure gas pressure here denoted rho g h rho g h okay understand that sir no? yes next content my children next content barometer mercury barometer mercury barometer so mercury barometer mercury barometer is a instrument which measures the atmospheric pressure the instrument the instrument which measures the atmospheric pressure is called what mercury barometer barometer is a instrument which measures the earth atmosphere so we know that the earth atmosphere okay the pressure exerted by earth atmosphere is called atmospheric pressure we know that the value is pa is equal to 1.013 to 10 power 5 pascals okay understand so how we can get that atmospheric pressure how we can get means by using mercury barometer okay see here consider a consider a vessel consider a vessel so this is construction of a barometer okay see construction of a barometer so consider a mercury in the bowl okay and consider a glass tube consider a glass tube this is glass tube okay so the length of the glass tube the length of the glass tube which may 100 cm 100 cm maximum okay we can pour some mercury mercury we can pour some mercury after that uh, after that uh, by reversing or by inverting we can immerse uh, the glass tube inside the or uh, this uh, vessel okay understand so consider a glass jar so one side is closed another side is open we go we can pour some mercury okay so we do not fill totally okay so by by closing thumb we can immerse or we can inverted <coughs> we can inverted and immerse in mercury okay like this okay see some of the mercury is come out from the glass tube to vessel okay understand in this case or uh, in this case you can observe the vacuum can form vacuum can form means the liquid or the mercury will not move up to that particular point understand okay so why it uh, comes means due to earth atmosphere due to earth atmosphere so consider a point consider a point a b c consider a point a b c okay see here pressure at a and pressure at c is both are same okay pressure at a pressure at b pressure at c uh, this three are equal okay here we can get some height height okay so here how you can find the atmospheric pressure means pressure due to pressure due to pressure my my children pressure due to a uh, liquid column pressure due to liquid column which gives atmospheric pressure okay understand my children yes okay we know that pressure at a is equal to pressure at b is equal to pressure at c okay so we know that uh, pressure at b pressure at b is equal to height of the liquid column pressure due to height of the liquid column rho g h rho g h maximum okay pb is equal to 
rho g h here some vacuum is formed so that you can say parisenly vacuum based on the scientist parisenly vacuum might be done what might be done parisenly vacuum see here by using some data our uh, density of the mercury is 30.6 gram per cc or uh, 30.6 into 10.3 kg per meter cube and g value 9.8 okay 9.8 meter per second square so by observing by measuring this height 76 cm 76 cm h is equal to h is equal to 0.76 meter 0.76 meter by adding by using this data we can calculate pv is equal to uh, 13.6 into 10 into 9.8 into 0.76 meters by calculating this we can get pv is equal to 1.013 into 10 power 5 pascals what matters is that pressure at b is equal to 1.013 into 10 power 5 pascals how we can get this value okay pressure pressure due to liquid column pressure due to liquid column which gives the atmospheric pressure okay how we can measure which instrument we can measure atmospheric pressure mercury barometer mercury barometer answer a mercury vessel okay and answer a glass hat one side is closed and another side is open we can fill it with mercury okay we can take the glass hat immersed invertedly okay invertedly means closed uh, end one is upside and open one is downside okay some of the mercury is uh, most from glass due to this vessel so in this case we can get the height of the liquid column concept 3.a b c okay pa is equal to pb is equal to pc here uh, pressure of pressure of liquid column the pressure due to liquid column which gives the atmospheric pressure from this atmospheric pressure pa is equal to 1.013 into 10 power 5 pascals Okay, P A is equal to 1.013 into 10 power 5 pascals. Understand, my children? So this is about uh, what, my children? Mercury barometer. Mercury barometer. Okay. So next uh, we have to discuss about uh, open tube manometer. Okay, open tube manometer. Open tube manometer, my children. Okay, so next one, open tube manometer. Okay, see here, uh, we can find the atmospheric pressure by using mercury barometer. Okay, so then how we can find the pressure of different gases? Okay, different liquids. Okay, by using uh, by using uh, so this open tube manometer we have to find the pressure of different liquids okay the density of the the density of the liquid which do not equal to density of mercury in this case understand so now consider a vessel consider a vessel this is vessel okay so we consider uh, it is denoted a okay so we consider it is denoted a or Uh, p okay pressure okay see here in this case we can fill any uh, gas okay so what we have to find the uh, pressure of a gas okay how much pressure which uh, exert on the another surface okay so we can take some unknown gas or unknown liquid or fluid okay fluid okay so we can attach one uh, glass rod okay so the shape of the glass rod is u answer u shaped glass rod okay understand so we can fill with the mercury okay we can fill with the mercury okay while pouring mercury means the mercury is moves down okay and 
the mercury is goes on continuously okay here mercury rises will stops okay understand mercury will rising will starts here we can take point a and here we take b okay here we know that pressure of atmosphere pa okay atmospheric pressure pa understand my children so answer vessel vessel in which we have to take the fluid which pressure exact we have to find okay so we, we have to find the pressure of a different liquids so that that fluid or that liquid we have to take in this vessel okay we can attach u shaped glass tube okay in in u shaped glass tube we have to take mercury okay understand so due to the pressure exerted by the fluid p okay so the mercury column will rise okay mercury column will rise here this is pa here we can get the pressure due to liquid column is h okay pressure due to liquid column is h here pressure at atmospheric pressure here atmospheric pressure act here in this side the fluid which exerts some pressure okay so due to this the liquid column it may increases or it may decreases here we have to take two points which are in same height okay which are in same height a b okay see here here we need to find the pressure we know that p a is equal to p b p a is equal to p b we need to find where p a so p a is equal to p c p b p b is equal to what pressure due to liquid column pressure due to liquid column means p b is equal to p b is equal to uh, p a plus rho g h okay so pressure acting at a r b which is equal to atmospheric pressure and pressure due to liquid column p a is equal to p b is equal to atmospheric pressure atmospheric atmospheric pressure plus plus pressure pressure due to liquid column okay pressure due to liquid column understand my children okay by using vessel so we can fill with any fluid so we have to find whose whose liquid pressure exact okay understand so that fluid we can take in this vessel okay so here we need to find finally the pressure exerted by some fluid is okay the pressure exerted by some fluid is how much we need to find here we have to take one one oxygen nitrogen any any fluid so it's a water also water exact how much pressure okay concern water and we can fill it with mercury so height of the mercury will change yes by using this formula pressure at a or b is equal to uh, atmospheric pressure but atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to liquid column pressure due to liquid column which gives the pressure exerted by the gas or pressure exerted by fluid which is in vessel which is in vessel okay my children